I don't know if it's hot where you are, but it is hot here. Friend, this week we've got some dinners that are gonna cool you off. There's no oven, there's no stove, there's no crock pot, there's no Instapot. It is no bake, no cook. You are gonna love this one. One thing I will suggest, if you are trying to do no bake stuff, pick yourself up a rotisserie chicken that's already made, Costco, Sam's Club, wherever it is that you shop, shred that thing up and you've got all this meat ready to go. So your no bake, Recipes don't have to be without a meat or a protein. Now, this recipe is actually supposed to be with tuna. I thought we had cans of tuna. I actually thought we had several cans of tuna and we have no cans of tuna. So this is gonna be a chicken version of this. Feel free to use cans of tuna though. We're gonna start off with some lemon juice here and we're gonna do one teaspoon of lemon juice. I didn't even tell you guys what this is. I just got to chatting away. This is a like Mediterranean Greek style chicken salad and lettuce wraps. All right, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I'm not gonna measure that one just cause I can estimate on that. About a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil or whatever type of oil you prefer. And I am gonna add a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt and then a little bit of pepper. All right, so the dressing is made. I'm gonna start to add in our other ingredients. I've already got this chicken shredded, which is perfect. We're just gonna add in about five ounces. I'm not gonna measure this. It's probably gonna be around two cups of chicken. I don't even need to do anything to this. Like this is literally that easy because I already did everything. I don't know about you guys, but I love having a rotisserie chicken on hand. For those nights when you don't know what you're gonna make, but you don't wanna go out to eat because you wanna save money or whatever it is, so easy. Okay, we are gonna add some Kalamata olives. If, the, if this is not something that you like, obviously skip this. You guys know I am all about do whatever, add whatever your family enjoys. No, didn't wanna lose it. I'm not gonna add a ton of these. Uh, I am adding nine, 10 of them, and I'm gonna quarter these as well. So let's add those in. Crumble up about a half cup or so of feta. I have a little bit left. We're just gonna use what I have and crumble that. Now I have a pretty small bell pepper from our garden, but I'm just gonna add, let's just do half of it. I'm gonna save the other half because I'm sure that we will have another recipe that we can use it for. I just got bell pepper in my eye. Okay, let's cut, dice this up to whatever size you prefer. I'm just gonna one thing that's really great about these type of recipes that are no bake recipes is you can prep them ahead of time, like even days ahead, a couple days ahead, and then they're ready to go for dinner, which is fantastic. All right, let's just toss this just a bit, kind of mix it together a little bit. We've got more stuff going in there, so. Oh man, it smells it's really, really good. I've got a can of chickpeas here. We are gonna drain and rinse these over at the sink, okay? Toss that in. You can toss all of this together. All right, let's taste and see how it is. It's very good, but it needs more. <clears throat> There's the pepper. <laughs> it needs more dressing in my opinion. So I'm just gonna like kinda add in a little bit more. So if I were you, I would double that recipe, double that dressing recipe at the beginning. So let's just kinda do a little drizzle. Add a little more lemon juice and then add a little bit more salt and pepper. And I'm the, I just looked, the recipe actually does call for tomato. It's just at the end, you fold it in. So I am gonna end up adding tomato because that's just such a beautiful color for this. Oh, that already looks better. Okay, 100% for sure, double that, that dressing. Now we can just kinda Fold in those tomatoes, oh yeah. That makes all the difference. Just adding that pop of red, it's so pretty. All right, so these are gonna get served in pieces of lettuce because they're gonna be a Mediterranean lettuce wrap. So easy to do. And you could serve this in a pita, you could serve it in wraps, but I do think it's gonna be really pretty on that lettuce wrap. You could also just kind of like do a salad bowl. So you have, a, you have chopped lettuce at the bottom of a bowl and you top it with this, that would be a great way to do it too if you don't wanna pick it up. See where we are now. I gotta get a bite with that Kalamata olive because y'all know I love olives. These are my favorite flavors. 
I love these flavors so much. It is so delicious. I cannot wait to eat this. I also wanna note that if you have tuna, I feel like this would be really great with tuna as well. And super easy, you don't even need a rotisserie chicken. I mean, how many times do we have cans of tuna in our pantry? Well, I don't, <laughs> thought I did, but I don't. But it would be very good with that too. All right guys, look how fresh these look, how good they look. I already know the filling is delicious. You guys saw me taste that. It's so good and I know we are gonna love this one. For dinner tonight, we are going to make flatbread. This can be completely no bake. I've made up a like sauce that we're gonna put on top of this non bread. All you need to do to make this sauce is take about a cup of Greek yogurt. We've used the Greek yogurt that, just one of these small Greek yogurts because that was just convenient and easy to do. And then added about two ounces of goat cheese. And this is just plain goat cheese. We're gonna add these into a bowl here and just mix them together. The goat cheese is a little bit more stiff than the Greek yogurt, so you might have to kind of press it together a little bit. We're adding about a teaspoon of lemon juice to this, and then we're gonna add some dill as well. I'm probably adding about a half teaspoon or so. We love dill. Feel free to use fresh dill. Our grocery store was out of it, so we are using it dried. And then we also wanna add some salt and pepper, and this is completely just to taste. And then we're gonna mix all this together. I'll give it a taste to make sure it's all good and ready to go, and then we will move on. So I have these two non bread here. You do not have to do this, but if you want to, throw them in the toaster and you can crisp them up just a little bit. If you want this to be completely no bake, don't feel like you have to do that part. All right, while that is in the toaster, I'm gonna cut up these little cherry tomatoes from our garden. And we are also gonna cut up about one stalk, I guess this would be called maybe, of green onion. This is mostly just for color, but it's also gonna give good taste. My non bread is out of the toaster oven and we are gonna take some of that sauce and just put it all over the top here. It's gonna be so good. This stuff is delicious, by the way. Now you can skip capers if you don't like capers, but I love them. And I like to add it to the top of the yogurt sauce because then it sticks to it rather than rolls off. We'll add some on the top as well, just for the purpose of it's really pretty and it adds good color, but I like to add it right there onto the yogurt sauce. Next step is we are going to use this, these uh, smoked salmon bits. Now, Pro tip here, if you want it to be cheaper, you get the bits. If you want to splurge and you want full sheets of the smoked salmon, it's more expensive, but you can grab that as well. Same thing. Now, just in case you are not a fan of smoked salmon, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how you can make something very similar without using smoked salmon. Let's add some tomatoes to the top here. We don't need too many, just a few and then we're going to add some green onion because it adds good flavor good color i am going to add just a touch more of dill because it mostly because it looks pretty but we do love dill if you've been here for a while this will be no surprise and we're going to add a few more capers to the top now you can just cut it into however many pieces you like. I think six is a good number, just depending on the size of the non bread. So I cut it into six pieces, which is perfect for picking up and eating. Now for those of you that are not a fan of the smoked salmon, go ahead and go ahead, do the same process with the non bread. If you want to, you can skip the capers. It's totally up to you, whatever flavors you enjoy. I'm going to use some turkey. You can just pick up turkey from your deli. You could use rotisserie chicken. Another idea that I just said a second ago that I thought would be really good on this is sort of like a caprese, um, a caprese flatbread. So with a pesto at the bottom and some mozzarella cheese, tomato, and some basil, I think that would be really delicious. Okay, let's add some tomato onto this one and some green onion. We can cut this one and serve it up as well. Look how delicious these look. No bake, didn't have to turn the oven on, didn't have to heat up the kitchen, and something everybody can enjoy. All right, we already know that yogurt sauce is delicious, but let's give these a try and I'll let you know what I think. So I'm gonna try a turkey one first. 
Really good, really fresh. I like that a lot. All right, let's try the other one before I call the family down for dinner. All right, I'm a big fan of this one because I love smoked salmon. I love capers. This is so delicious. These are perfect summer meals, you guys. We are going to make these stuffed avocado. So easy to make, really, really delicious. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our like mayonnaise mixture that we're gonna be using. And we are gonna use three to four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Another thing you could do if you wanna cut down the fat content on this, when we are uh, making chicken salad or something like that, a lot of times we'll substitute Greek yogurt instead of mayo. So totally up to you how you wanna do it. That's, mm, that's about four-ish tablespoons. I could use my tablespoon thing, but you know, those are harder to clean. All right, so let's pour in about a tablespoon of lime juice. So this is just regular lime juice. We are going to add some salt and pepper. This is just to taste. And the recipe doesn't call for this, but I'm gonna add in a little bit of cumin because we love the flavor of cumin. So maybe a half teaspoon or so. Let's mix all this together and we can start incorporating the other ingredients. I just feel like it's easier to mix this before you add everything else into it. Like I said before in the video, one of the best things that you can do if you want a no-bake week is get yourself a rotisserie chicken, shred that thing up, and you've got all that chicken all ready to go in the refrigerator. So we need about a cup and a half of this shredded chicken added to this. And I think that's roughly a cup and a half. Whole tomato that my husband actually started to use with his lunch today. So I'm gonna use the rest of this. He used maybe only like a quarter of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up. We'll dice it up into like little, maybe quarter inch pieces, half inch pieces squares. If you have cherry tomatoes or like those, oh, what are they called? The gourmet medley tomatoes, those are really pretty and they have a lot of different color. That's something that you could absolutely use in this and it would, it would add another element of color as well. I've got some bacon. You guys know we pretty much always have cooked bacon. If it's not bacon, then we've got sausage available. So I'm gonna take a few pieces of that and we're just gonna crumble it here into this mixture. Let's do, I have about maybe four pieces left. Probably just go ahead and use almost all of it. All right, let's add some green onion. I've got a little bit of green onion left here. And we're just gonna dice this up and add it. And I'm gonna add some cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, obviously you can skip this part. So just a couple of tablespoons of chopped cilantro. Go ahead and mix this together with the mayo mixture. We slice in half an avocado and I like to cut just the bottom off because then it will lay flat on your serving dish, whatever it is that you're using for your serving dish. I think it needs one ingredient. Salt? No, I don't think it needs salt. Okay. You think it needs salt? Mm, not really, but. I think it needs more lime. Yeah. Because when you think lime and avocado, you think like guacamole. Yeah. I mean, it has good flavor. Yeah. But a little more lime wouldn't hurt anybody. Okay, so let's add a little bit more lime, just a touch. I think that's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just that touch of lime, it makes it a little bit more fresh. So I'm gonna stuff these and we'll be ready to eat. This is so incredibly simple. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these no cook recipes, no cook dinners. I did not have to heat up the stove and make my kitchen hot or anything like that when it is hot outside. If you liked this video, I am definitely gonna suggest that you check out this video right here. You are gonna get even more inspiration in the kitchen. Lots of good stuff there. I hope you're having a great week. Bye. 
Our verse today comes from 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ.